All right, we got something new today. Uh, we are shooting the Marlin Model 62 in 30 carbine. Now, uh, they made these in the 60s, but uh, I think between it and the 256 Magnum, uh, they made uh, just under 16,000 of them. So there wasn't a whole lot made. Uh, 30 carbine was uh, a lot less uh, than what the 256 was. It has a four uh, capacity mag on it, and the uh, lever action is the short stroke. Uh, now I also have a Browning like that uh, in the 22 mag or 22 long rifle, but uh, oh. so right there is as far as the mag goes. You take it down to or the the lever, take it down to there, and it kicks the shell up in. Uh, we are shooting a uh, Leopold FX2 uh, and a straight six power. We're doing 100 yards. Now I have played with it a little bit. This particular model does have uh, iron sights as well. Has a hood. Uh, they were, like I said, they were made back in the 60s, and. Uh, it is a nice little gun. Not a lot of recoil. Now, could that be a deer rifle? Yeah, I don't know. Because, you know, that's... If you can... Some people say it's not got enough power for a deer rifle. Uh, others say, well, but let me ask you this. If a 357 mag, which is 358 can be shot out a rifle at like 14 to 1600 feet per second then why wouldn't a 308 diameter at 2100 feet per second be just as effective I know it's a smaller bullet but this is where it comes into the 30 super versus 9 millimeter 30 super a little smaller the only difference is, is with the 30 carbine, we can only go up to, I think, 110, maybe. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. You might be able to go a little bit higher on it. Uh, but other than that, the bullet weight is a lot less compared to 158 grain 357 mag, but speed. So if you're willing to bet your life on the 30 Super and its speed versus mass, would this one be just as good for deer hunting? Or is it just a good coyote groundhog gun? Leave your comment below. Uh, right now what we're going to do is I have played with it just a little bit. Got it kind of cranked in a little bit. We are shooting out at 100 yards. Uh, uh, there's a piece of cardboard out there past that uh, red and blue uh, tree. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you watch me uh, work the stroke. And uh, we're going to load it up. And we're going to... I'm only doing three rounds at a time, just trying to keep the gun a little cool. And uh, I'm all out of uh, the uh, full metal jackets. So what I have now is I have a choice of uh, uh, hunting tips or uh, I've got some uh, hollow points. Not really sure where those come from, but we're going to go with hollow points. And I want to see what they're going to do so I'm going to put three in I really have to turn this over so I can see what I'm doing I have to go to it clicks all right let me get uh, some ears on and uh, we're gonna play with it and uh, let's see what happens This way you can see uh, about what kind of recoil it has. Alright, so I'm not seeing the... Uh, I'm shooting at a 6 inch target at 100 yards. I'm not seeing anything turn green with the others I could. 
So these are a lot lighter, maybe, or a little heavier. I'm not really sure. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely not seeing anything turn green. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, take the mag out. I'm going to load up uh, hunting tips. So what I've got is I've got, uh, uh, I think they're 100 grain uh, lead tip, which is what we would be using for hunting if we were going to go hunting. And let's see what we can do with it. Okay, let me get my ears back on, and then we'll uh, take a walk up, and uh, we'll see uh, how well we did. I could see that one. That one hit the very bottom of the target. Uh, I'll show you where I was hitting that before and uh, before we did the adjustment. So I might have to uh, do a little more work on it to get everything just right on it. But anyway, uh, just something I wanted to uh, bring and uh, let you take a look at it. And uh, as you can see, the gun is in very nice shape. Uh, we are shooting a, uh, a straight wall case. It's about the same height uh, as a 357 mag. It just it's not quite as big around. There's uh, not a lot of recoil to it. So if uh, you want to take the scope off, you could take the scope off and just use iron sights. And uh, if you live in one of those states that have uh, uh, where you have to use shotgun or muzzle loader or uh, a straight wall case for hunting, this one would. Uh, definitely work it would fall into that category it's uh right around seven pounds without the scope so it's not too bad i'll put in a link uh how long the barrel is on it and uh let you take a look at that and uh, we'll get back to it and uh see i think it's a 20 inch but i could be wrong but uh let's do a quick walk up here and uh, I'll give you a little more information on it. From what I've read, uh, during the 60s, I think uh, mid to late 60s, uh, Marlin designed that and uh, between the 30 carbine and the 256 Magnum, they made uh, just under 16,000 of them. Uh, and out of that 16,000, about 15% more was the uh, 256 versus the 30 carbine. So there's not as many out there. Uh, it is a great little gun. Somebody said they even found one in a 357 mag. I don't know. Uh, you know, can't believe everything you, you read on the internet. But uh, let's see what we did at 100 yards. I can see right now I didn't do as good with the other ammo as I was doing with the full metal jacket. So I was shooting really low. Uh, what I did was I was shooting high with the full metal jackets and then I adjusted the scope and brought it down and I have one here and one here and one here. So I did pretty good for a six inch target. And then out of those last ones, the pointy ones, I'm going to say we're probably here, and then the hunting ones was here. So, I only brought three of each just to see what we could do. So what I'll have to do is uh, I'll have to uh, get some more hunting, bring it back, and uh, we'll do uh, a little better on it. I mean, as a deer rifle, I really wouldn't push it out past maybe you know 50 75 yards uh, I mean it's accurate it does have uh, a good bit of speed but with a 110 grain bullet we're not uh, 
uh, we're not having probably a lot of uh, foot pounds of pressure as you can see I kind of worked my way up there and these right here would have been the bullseye you can uh, if you're looking you can see uh, some of it uh, let's see can we see no nope. okay uh, anyway 30 carbine in the Marlin model 62 and it does have the micro groove barrel all right that's it for today